Have you ever had trouble making pucks on NHL 14? Well today I'm going to be showing you how to do just that, make some pucks. Hey guys, what's going on? It is Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV. And you see here, I'm doing some collections. Well, I haven't been showing you lately on HUT, um, the Ultimate Team Series, because um, I figured I'd put them all together in a video. How to make EA pucks. You see here in the top right, I have about 5,000 pucks. Really easy. All you got to do is do, do the NHL collections. You can do the minor league connect, uh, collections as well as the European teams, but this is really all you have to do. Basically, you don't have to have that much. You only have to have about uh, 5K to start out. You do both all-star collections, and uh, you go ahead and complete those by just getting the jerseys and logos. That gives you, I think, 12K each. Then you have 24K. Uh, then you can start doing uh, easy collections like the Panthers, and you get more. And then you can do, like the uh, coyotes and a bunch of easy collections so what you're gonna do when you get collections uh, first before actually um, using or trying to get the collection go to the collection and see which players you have already I'm gonna use the Islanders as an example um, obviously you're not gonna be able to do the Islanders too easy because you're gonna need John Tavares I happen to have him so that's a, a bonus for me so if you have a good player make sure to um, go ahead and buy, um, buy or use use that towards your collection and use that um, and try to get that collection done. So I do have John Tavares, so I'm going to try to do the Islanders collection. I do have a website that I use. It tells you all the collections for every single league, including the NHL and all the teams, and who to get and what jerseys to get and what logos to get. It's really helpful. I forget what it's called, but I will put it in the description below. So go ahead and use that for all your collections, and it's a good little checklist to check it off to make sure you have everyone. So what you want to do is once you have everyone checked off that you already have, go ahead and search the auctions. Search the team, search the player in the NHL, and go ahead and start with a buy now price of 500 maximum. And you're just going to get all these guys. These guys are the cheapest guys, so you just want to go through these guys, see who's the cheapest, buy them. And it's a really easy way. Uh, and you keep doing this, and then once you get all the players that you can in this section, then you do buy now minimum 550, buy now maximum 750 just to get the uh, new players in. And then uh, buy now, after you're done with that, do buy now uh, minimum 800 and buy now maximum. 1,000 and you'll just keep doing that until you get all the players and you see here you got all the jerseys got all the logos You got all the players you do have to watch out for a couple of things You have to watch out for some silver players sometimes they cost a lot because they're just rare I know some guy in Calgary was like 16k when I bought him is kind of ridiculous uh, This guy I don't think was too bad. So uh, you see right here Actually a uh, big change in the team. I'm actually swapping Taylor Hall with John Tavares He's actually cheaper. So I'm gonna be making about 40k pucks and uh, I figured I'd do this not only to improve my team because I'm not playing too well with Tavares and I think I'd play better with Hall, but I'm also doing it to get the Edmonton collection. So I made sure to do that New York collection first while I had Tavares and now I sold him and got um, Hall. So now I'm going to try to do the Edmonton collection, which I did just that. I already had Eberle. I uh, just got to get these guys. And really it's not too hard. Once you start with the All-Star collections, uh, that get you, gets you going. Then you do, um, uh, what's the one I started with? Uh, Panthers, the Florida Panthers. You do that, and you start getting more money. And you see here on the top right, um, I keep getting more money. And then you have to spend some money to uh, finish these collections and get all the players, obviously. But you sell that all off, and then you get the bonus um, coins for finishing the collections. So you're making money, and uh, you're making about 40 k minimum. Um, and, you know, that just keeps adding up. So you can keep getting, doing better and better. And like I said, uh, if you have a big player on a big team, um, like I had Tavares, go ahead and start that collection. That's easy. You do have to watch out for the for the collections that have those very rare silvers. Uh, that's hard. I've gotten into a couple of uh, sticky messes with that. But, um, yeah, I'm just going through here doing the collections. It's really easy, guys, really easy to do, really easy to make pucks. And, um, it's yeah, it's pretty easy. So, you know, I saved up enough money to buy Dustin Bufflin and have about uh, 30k left so that's exactly what I did bought Dustin Bufflin used that 30k to buy the rest of the players on the Winnipeg Jets finish that collection and then after that you put them up for sale try to make some profit if you can um, at least sell them for what you bought them for if not um, always start with more and try to make a profit and um, then just keep making money you know I did Toronto and there's St. Louis and uh, you can just keep going and going here um, and you'll just keep making more and more coins which allows you to get better and better players which allows you to finish harder collections Which will give you more coins. So it's just a cycle that you um, Will um, definitely make a lot of pucks on and uh, yeah, so it's really easy to make pucks on um, Very simple 
just keep doing that and you'll be good also you can do the minor league collections uh, uh, or you know European League teams collections or CHL or stuff like that but uh, I recommend the NHL ones because they give you the most coins and honestly they're not even that hard once you start off with the easy ones then you can start with the medium ones and then eventually the hard ones so you see there on the top right after starting out with 5k all you really need is uh, 5k you do the all-star collections you do the easy ones and you do the medium ones and then some hard ones and just like that, I already have 200k pucks. This honestly, guys, took me one day. Not even kidding. So basically, um, obviously, you won't have all the good players at the beginning, but it's a really easy way to make pucks. Hope you guys enjoyed. Use this method. Make sure to check out our channel. Make sure to subscribe. Peace.